Overview of the Convoluted Las Vegas Luxury Home Market Is the Las Vegas Luxury Home Market similar to regular homes market? No. Do median price escalations for regular homes apply to the luxury home market? No. First, we have to define what separates these from regular upgraded homes, so we will reproduce our definitions of Las Vegas luxury homes and ultra-luxury homes. 1. Home price higher than $1 million. 2. Living area should be bigger than 3,500 square feet. 3. Price per square foot of $150 to $300. 4. 3 plus car garage. For Las Vegas ultra luxury homes, add A. Must be located in a prestigious community. B. Must be less than 10 years old for latest architecture and amenities. C. Price per square foot higher than $300. These criteria are arbitrary, however, in order to do a Las Vegas luxury home market report, we had to set one. Las Vegas Ultra Luxury Homes Market A market report relies on good data, however, official MLS data can be manipulated by individual agents, resulting in incorrect conclusions. We decided to show the result of our in-depth analysis of the ultra luxury home market, first to show how a few unethical listing agents manipulate sales data using a loophole in MLS policies. They drastically cut down on days on the market before going into contract and show a much higher sales price over list and original list price ratios to fool prospective sellers to give them their listings. Some are the best known luxury home agents here. Let's see an example. In the property histories, we are only concerned with an unbroken chain of the same agent or team withdrawing and relisting the same property within a short period. We ignore prior listings by different agents or by the same agent if there is long period between withdrawals and relist or our statistics would be much worse than they are. Original list price is the one that is recommended by the listing agent at the time of listing a luxury home. The official MLS data shows that this home sold in 11 days and for 95% sales price over list and original list price ratio, which the listing agent shows the next prospective seller to show what a marketing genius he is. This home was initially listed on 4-14-2016 by the same agent for 86 days at about $5 million before withdrawal and relisting the next day for the same price. It was relisted for 72 days before another withdrawal and relist the next day for less, which to our amazement was reversed to the original price until 1-23-2017. It was relisted in immediately at about $4 million and sold 11 days later for $3.8 million. The real days on the market before contract are 309 days and not 11 days, and sales price to original price ratio is 76%. Now imagine this listing agent telling a prospective seller that it took him 309 days to sell an initially highly overpriced home at 76% of original asking price. What do you think his prospects are? There are many examples as well. We will show a few in an upcoming video named Arrogance and Deception in Marketing Las Vegas Luxury Real Estate, which we highly recommend that you watch. The real days on the market in the current Las Vegas luxury homes market is about twice as long as official data provided by our MLS. Now that you know how MLS data gets tampered with, we can show you the statistics. The most expensive unit sold for $4.65 million and the least expensive sold for about $1.2 million. Please check out the million dollars difference between the median sales price and asking list prices and how long it takes to sell these. Pay particular attention to the 23 months of listing inventory. The next table shows the overview of Las Vegas luxury home market since the real estate recovery of 2012. Home sales are up by about 30% since 2015. However, the median sales price and all important price per square foot have failed to improve since 2014. The last two rows show the same statistics for Las Vegas homes for sale for less than the FHA loan limit of $287,500 to 
to show that these markets don't have much in common. The median price of ultra-luxury homes is down while the other has more than doubled. While the listing inventory for luxury homes stands at 23 months, the same for cheaper houses is less than one month. Difference between Las Vegas luxury and regular home markets. About half of these sold for less than 90% of original asking list price, while the same homes priced below the FHA loan limit stands at 99%. 20% sold for less than 80% of original asking list price. With one exception, the days on market for these were between 252 days and 420 days. The only reason is incorrect initial list price and failing to correct it in a timely manner. Deeper look at the Las Vegas Ultra Luxury Home Sales Results. The median price only shows market direction and doesn't apply to individual properties. For these, the only market report that counts is pricing a specific unit through time. 20 out of 43 homes have been sold previously from 2008 to 2016. Three were sold at a loss. The biggest was $1,475,000, or 40% loss on a home that was bought in 2008. However, the other 17 sold for more than the previous purchase price. Four out of five highest price gains belong to houses that were purchased in 2010 to 2013. The two highest depreciating luxury homes were purchased in 2013 for $1.5 million in Tuscan Cliffs in Southern Highlands and sold for about $2.15 and $2.2 million or more than 45% in appreciation. Three others sold for 26% to 30% price gain from the last purchase. Two were in McDonald Ranch community. These sold for $600,000 to $890,000 higher than the last deal. So it is possible to make money in a flat market. The rest sold for 2.7% to 12.5% higher than last time. However, after deducting seller's closing costs, which run 8% or higher in realtor commissions and other costs, only 12 out of 20 homes have been actually sold at a profit. Let's talk about the Las Vegas luxury home market. In this case, we didn't do an in-depth study of this market, and we'll show official MLS, MLS results that can be wrong, especially when it comes to days on the market. Again, there is not much improvement from 2013, and if any, the median price of luxury houses is trending down, and the median days on the market has been stable except that in this case, the median price per square foot, which means home prices are going up, but buyers are buying homes in the same price ranges. Conclusion, luxury home prices have appreciated since the real estate recovery of 2012, but not nearly as much as less expensive houses. The biggest problem in this sector is unrealistic pricing in addition to some listing agents requiring buyers to provide financials for the privilege of viewing houses that have been on the market for six months without any kind of action, which we will talk about in Arrogance and Deception in Marketing, Las Vegas Luxury Real Estate. If you want to sell or buy Las Vegas Luxury Homes for Sale, please call us at 800 762-4917. You can find our contact info and the link web page with the embedded video and video transcript in the video description. Please like and share overview of the convoluted Las Vegas luxury home market and subscribe to our Las Vegas real estate channel for upcoming videos. On behalf of the Sauber team, this is Karen Sauberzade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day.